everyone and welcome back to another train simulator live stream it's been well a little while since the last train simulator live stream but we are back uh, we're on the brighton main line and we're going to be in the class 73 slash 489 uh, the 489 is the control unit at the back anyway let's quickly restart this and we can read the blurb it's about 45 minutes this scenario uh, probably Davidoff. Anyway, let's see what we've got in the chat. We have got uh, Pig, we've got Davidoff, we've got Lazejet, we've got James, we've got Daniel, Nunny, Skeronium. So we've got Southern, LWR, Daniel, Glenn. Um, so Glenn's very happy. Um, how's everyone doing? You've been rerouted on the slow line via Red Hill. Engineering works on the fast line will be taking place all morning, so expect busier traffic on your reroute. Switch cabs and open the doors for passengers here at Gatwick Airport to board. Which is quite weird because you start in the 73. Then you change in the scenario. Um, yeah, so we're, once the boarding's ended, we then change. Look at this. Hello, Yoshi and Hempen. How are you both? What a lovely locomotive. Let's get the tail lights on. If we can find the tail lights, wherever the tail lights may be. Uh, let's see. I don't really know where many of the controls are on this one. Where are the tower lights and all that sort of stuff? I suppose it's this, isn't it? Let's um, let's change that. Can we change that to the red red bits? Not that. There we go. That's better. They're now changed. Yeah, they're the only ones you get. Right, that's all good. Now we wait. Hello, Jackie, Dory, and Tyler. I've been waiting at Jadinga for about 45 minutes for a livery train to turn up and a Thameslink train come. Awesome. Hello, Devon. Yeah, I'm all good, uh, Daniel. Hopefully you're all good now. Live Route 465. Awesome. I'm sure they're sort of laser jet. That's what we do now. We now... Ch yeah, we now change ends. That's the only time we're in the 73. I don't know if I accidentally spawn you here. Uh, but let's get to the other end. Uh, let's get this set up. We're not really in a rush. Uh, not that. Uh, that. There we go. Oh, you can see the headlight coming on the other end there. Uh, let's do a bit of that. Uh, let's set that to forward. One pound from Davidoff. Much appreciated, mate. Feel free to check out Davidoff's channel. Let's get that down. And let's get going. So this is the 489, but the 73 is on the back. Cool. Let's go. And we're off. It's a beautiful train, though. It's fairly quiet as well, because the engine's at the back. Well, hopefully you can hear game sound anyway. Let's wipe that off. We don't need that. Uh, actually, I'm quickly going to check. Um, yeah, we're not stopping anywhere. Let's get going. Speed's 30. It's going up uh, soon enough, though. Let's hope we are following something. But yeah, look at this. I don't know why that's turned itself off. Lovely. Hello, Harrow. I hope they met the AI able to drive soon on East Coast. Well, that'll be cool. The Creators Club is good. It sure is. How's everyone uh, getting on with the Creators Club? What have you been up to today on it? Get up to 70. Uh, can you do it in this one? I can't remember. I think it is on. Oh, no, it is on diesel. That's weird, isn't it? I don't know. I think it sticks to diesel, I think. I don't know. I know it should be electric as well, but not too sure. Fair enough, uh, laser jets. A nice old train. But a good old train. It's an electric old train, so that's good. Off we go. Well, ED. Where are we go? Going? going through Hawley. Oh no, so we're running on the slow lines up to Victoria. So it'll be slightly slower, not too much slower though. Only a tad. 90. So we'll continue to whack that up. Ah, that's brilliant. Yeah, there probably is a way you can change it to electric. But we'll run on diesel for now, I guess. How is everyone this evening? I'm all good, Rio. How are you? It's what I'd see the speedometer. So it's there. It's there. Oh, we go. Hello, uh, Russian dog. Well, French dog, I should say now. How are you doing, French dog? 
I have, I just don't get it though, you gotta go with that. <laughs> BA t shirt. Uh, I'm not wearing that today, no. Hello, Kenzie, I'm all good. How are you? You're enjoying the Creators Club? Awesome. It's very good. Is that another train to the right of us I can hear? No, that's just us. Yeah, it's a pretty cool train, this one. There's a 377. Past that goes. Yeah, if they ever did do a backdated Brighton mainline, this would be brilliant. Although, if it was backdated, I'd like to see uh, a Brighton mainline set in maybe the early 2000s. So, you get the 377 as well as the Slammers. The 319s are such a mix. As, uh, yeah, such a mix. So, two, set it in 2004. Yeah, 2004-2005. And you get a really good mix of uh, rolling stock. You get the slammers, the three seven sevens, the three one nines, brilliant stuff. Oh, awesome! Uh, uh, I keep wanting to say Russian dog, but no, we're not saying that. French dog. There we go. I, I'm, I'll have to get used to it. <laughs> Has his yeah, Eastbourne football shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wonder who's driving that 377, I don't know, maybe it was you, Rio. Hello, quicker, I'm all good, how are you? Lovely. Is that called a louder phone there? So it says louder phone. Louder phone. Lovely. Eastbourne, no, not Eastbourne t shirt. <sighs> right, anyway, got a double yellow coming up. Start whacking that down. Let's keep it in uh, step one for now. The French dog, yes. You don't think the Heart of Russia will ever be released? Um, it would be a bit dodgy, wouldn't it, SCS releasing it? I mean, I know it's SCS, they've probably been working on it for a long time. But maybe just park the, park the bus on the DLC for now. As yeah, I think it, it would be just dodgy bringing it out now. <laughs> maybe park the bus on it until things are... Uh, a little bit better. So maybe push ahead with the Montana and Texas DLCs. Which will be much better. It's the USA. Uh, did you get the 377-5 scenario done? Uh, no, not in the end. Although I probably will stream tonight. I don't know what on though. It will be Flight Sim or TSW again. You love that. Yeah, yeah, Glenn. Going on an IET tomorrow. Good luck quicker. You're going to need it. <laughs> no, I'm sure it'll be good. This though. Got a. Oh, they've got a Tombridge service over there. Where else would they go in Europe? What, for Euro Truck? Well, they haven't done Greece. That sort of area. Greece, Croatia, Montenegro. Um, yeah, I don't think they've added any of them. Bosnia, um, Serbia, Slovenia. I don't think any of those. No, I think Slovenia's in. Um, in Euro Truck. So yeah, sort of that whole area, Greece, Corfu, um, that that whole area. Hello, Kieran. I guess that'll probably be the next DLC for ETS. Yeah, it's off we go. Yeah, it'll be nice for SCS maybe to then. Park the bus on Heart of Russia and just work on Montana and Texas. Get them out much, much better. Absolutely love the US. You got a dovetail account finally and installed probably every livery for the 395. Awesome. I'm talking about trucking. We'll have to get back on it soon. Maybe Iceland at a stretch, yeah. Maybe even upgrade um, Scandinavia a bit on it because, yeah, Norway, Finland uh, on the Scandinavian DLC. There are a few places missing. Yeah. Right, along we go. Who said IET? That was quicko. Yeah, I'm all good, Kieran. How are you? Hey, uh, RW, how are you? Right, we'll speed up a tad, although that's probably following a stop in service. How would you get to Greece? Uh, I think that's through 
yeah, sort of Croatia, Montenegro, Albania, all that sort of way. I think Greece is over that way. Is that right at the bottom? So yeah, I suppose those countries, if they were ever added to ETS, which would be cool. I'm guessing that probably would be the next logical DLC. They don't know Spain and all that sort of places now. Uh, they should upgrade the UK first. Yeah, I can agree there. The UK on ETS is a bit shambolic. Maybe uh, someone with you is best. Yeah, that's true. Um, is it normal for your girlfriend to be shy of you at first? Uh, I don't know. don't know. Hello, Kieran. I guess you'd have to ask Amanda to see if she was shy of me at first. But I don't think so. But yeah, if she comes in, you have to ask her, RW. Can you give me a few tones? I sure can. It's quite a good horn on this one. Similar, I suppose. Reminds me of the 101 horn on TSW, the British Rail one. It's a similar period, isn't it? Now, see, Rio, look at that, though. There's a 73 at the back, chugging out all of the very friendly fumes. Uh, going through Merston. So it was 75 and that's up to 80 uh, as we go through Merston. And it should go up to 90, I think, that are around here. I believe. That's what it really has. Going over the M25, so we are now in London. There's no, 80. Okay. Yeah, we're all good at the moment. Could you imagine them going to Africa like Morocco? What, SES doing an African DLC? I mean, actually, why not just keep expanding Euro Truck? Um, yeah, so at some point they are going to have to sort of think, right, where next? I'll be happy. Oh, she would love that. So you blasted on a Class 390. Awesome. You've got Heathrow Express 387 livery. Lovely. What's the cab lights on? Yeah, they are. There we go. Let's get that off. Yeah, who remembers this train in real life? Who went on one of these before? Or just remembers these? Yeah, lovely uh, train there. Oh, hello. Uh, that's all good. Uh, <laughs> a bit slow. Well, I guess it gives the train ahead a bit of time to get ahead. We've got a green again. So we continue on. Meter lights. Oh, instrument lights got them on. Nice. Yeah, hopefully everyone's all well this evening. We have got one more stream today. And that will be on Flight Sim or TSW again. And you get the 460. That was weird. I was just thinking about the 460. Uh, yes, at some point. I mean, I've seen 73s before. Yeah, not the 489 with the coaches. Oh, we go though. <clears throat> Quite spacious though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not cramped in here. So we're in Merstham Tunnel at the moment. Just about to shoot out of it. And we're out. Shall we get a flyby shot? Let's do it. <laughs> you should name dedicated to Thomas. Right, let's uh was ahead. And we have got a blooming double yellow again, so the flyby shot. We'll probably get caught by AWS. Just about in time. One was just unit on service on the line. Um, I think it was pre-2004. Yeah, pre-2004. Because I think in 2004 the 460 took over. And then that went to 2012. And 2012 was then the 442 until about 2015-16. 
and it was the uh, 387. So I suppose, yeah, pre-2004, it would have been this strain. Well, the Connex run the sort of Galaxy Express for a few years, don't know. If you see a 377, that's me. Lovely, Rio. Let's see quicker. Yeah, we're coming up on Coulston South. So I don't know if we are going to get back onto the fast lines fairly soon. Nice Southern Enthusiast. The 319s are great. They, they were great. I mean, they lasted until quite a bit, 2015, wasn't it? So not too long ago. Alright, Coulston South. Here we go. Got the clear, yes. Right, so it looks like we are going to be going back onto the fast line. Which I think it's 70 across these points coming up. I think. Yeah, I love the horn on it. Look at that. Not bad. Let's get back in. Uh, yeah, those jet up, unfortunately, yes. Apparently in Heathrow, catering trucks have taxiway priority. Blimmin' heck. <laughs> Get off by a jumbo, yeah. Wow. Just a catering truck coming on right, stop, get out of the way. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? They have priority over the planes. Well, I suppose they have to get to the planes to get them all ready, then they can go. So I suppose you can sort of see why they would do that. As if they're delayed by a plane, then that other plane's then going to be delayed, and then that's just going to delay everything else. So I suppose it makes sense. And also as it's food as well. There's a 377. See you now, Nate. We're going on to the fast line. And it'll be up to 90 miles an hour. It does feel weird playing um, the TS version of the BML, though. So used to the um, well, TSW graphics and the TSW ROM. So it does feel weird coming back. But still very good, though. And you get this one here. Coming up on Pearly. Yeah, this scenario is 45 minutes, so I think after this, I think there's like a 15 minute one, we'll probably do that. You broke your knee today, oh ouch. Not good to hear, I suppose you're not doing very well then. Generally 787, uh, come the liveries. Has there been any new company say yes with the brand in Trainsome World 2? Oh, any new ones which have said yes? Uh, GWR. Yeah, I think originally they didn't want to be part of the sort of Creators Club um, licensing stuff, but I think they've changed their mind now. I mean, the Creators Club is mad. The amount of uploads on there. Like, I thought it was going to be similar to the um, Steam Workshop where you get, you know, maybe six, seven uploads a day, not too much going on. But no, like, I did that, that Coastway um, Whistler one we did. I thought, oh, that's probably going to be on the most recent page for at least, you know, a little while. <laughs> probably about, I, I, well, I turned off the um, console, turned it back on about two minutes after, and it was already off the most recent bit. There was already, like, another five uploads. It's crazy the amount of things on there already. Awesome laser jet. Oh, I see you see it. Ouch. What went through the gap? Um, juicy and caught your knee or... Ooh. Not pleasant. Right, I've got greens again. It does come down to 60 anyway, so it doesn't matter where we have brung it down.
We've got 28 people and can we try and get up to 25 likes? Can we try and have a big like jump? Uh, anyone else got the same issue as me on Creators Club? I have PS4 but struggles to download anything. It has the loading symbol. Uh, make sure to log out of Dovetail Live NG and then load back in. And possibly shut down the Creators Club and then go back in. Yeah, it's very busy. Awesome Southern Enthusiast. And popping that down. Awesome Rio. Yeah, we did the other one, the Coastway Whistler. Uh, and then I'll do that other one, um, the Southeastern 377 on Southeastern High Speed. I'll do that one as well. Oh, where's the cat? The cat is uh, beside me, just sitting on the chair, just, just chilling. Oh, we're going through platform two. Great, so we can speed back up. How do you take screenshots? Dovetail shots. Uh, control F10 on keyboard or hold down the right analog stick and down on the D-pad at the same time. That will do the trick. So I wonder if the train holding us up will be in the platform there. I don't, know, I don't know what name, the name would be for it. Oh, blimey, juicy. Got a double yellow. So I'm guessing we're following that service again. So we'll stay at this speed. Looks like we're going back onto the slow lines. It's like quite a slow journey. Before we go, maybe like the wrong electro star or something. That's what we we'll call it. Single yellow. So this up, we're going to be stopping just outside of Selhurst. Cool. There's a 73 there at the back. Well enough, Juicy. I'm, I'm not surprised. Hang on, looks like we're going back onto the fast line. Okay, you can do. Hello, the middle bus, how are you? Yeah, it looks like it's rooting us back onto the, uh, onto the other line. You can see that we've got the feather indicator there. So we're going back over. Oh, C7 Enthusiast. I'm good, Ryan. How are you? But yeah, can we try and get up to 25 likes? That would be awesome. There's a 377. There's a way down. So let's hope we're going back across. Can do. It's here, Ryan. Hang on a second. Oh, that's. I thought that was whizzing through them. I was like, oh no. That's going to end badly. Hang on. Oh no, it's all good. All good. For some reason, I thought that was going uh, our way then. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, that's not going to end well. That's for five hours. Uh, Or maybe what I call it, plus two. As it is a three well the usual train would be a three seven five bits and a three seven seven. So maybe I'll call the scenario plus two. Maybe. How do you take rail fan shots and train some mod two on Xbox One? Uh you hold down the right analog stick and then down on the D pad. Like back. Although probably the next couple of days for uh, Train Some World streams we will be doing scenarios. 
Um, actually, it's great fun doing scenarios. Now we can share it even better. Right, let's uh, whack that up. Looks like we have got greens. Here on the church bells ringing. Let's go through Thornton Heath. Here we go. Faversham Diversion. Well, the 377 is uh, part of South Eastern, isn't it? So. And we're off. I mean, do the South Eastern 377s go on the uh, Chatham Main Line? Or do they go the other way? That's why you're saying call it Faversham Diversion. Awesome, juicy. Oh, man, the amount of church is going off. Blimmin' heck. So now it's 70. That is the limit. Let's get a fly-by shot as well. Let's hope there isn't a yellow around the corner. Which luckily is green. So we're all good. Let's get a fly-by shot going through Norbury. Although we do... Oh, it's green now. Cool. Hope the train doesn't come to a grinding halt. Which is like well always happens when we do these fly by shots. Oh, C seven. Hello, quick handy man. How are you? Oh, brilliant! Uh, British train spur. Yeah, some brilliant um, liveries for the sixty six. I've seen GBRF, uh, the climate one. Very, very talented, the people who can do that. Me too, Josie, yeah, me too. There's a 377. That's free, that one there, even though it's got four coaches. See you, Rio. Thanks for uh, coming, mate. Take care. And we do have a single yellow, so things get serious. Oh, double now. Did we just pass Selhurst? That was about three minutes ago. Double yellow. You got one coming from the Sutton and Mole Valley line. And it is now 60. I think in the Train Sim World version, the 60 is a bit further up. I think the 60 is when you're going in towards Balham. So I think it's slightly different. Yeah, it is electric, but since you're running in diesel at the moment, so we'll just keep it as it is. Bit of that. Yeah, we're almost there already. It's only been 29 minutes. <laughs> almost there. Awesome three on three. It's very good. Not too far from Clapham now. There's a Connex Class 465 out now. Lovely. On our way. Also a good website for finding old uh, old train timetables. I know someone found one before. Let's say if I wanted to find the first Capital Connect. Uh, timetable, the race quicker, yeah, the 73, and I believe the class 68 is as well. Yeah, what is a website for finding old timetables like First Capital Connects 2015 timetable? Is there a way you can do that? Well, I'm sure there is. No, I don't think First Great Western. There was a First Great Western livery put up, uh, but it got taken down. Possibly Daniel, yeah. Went up on Ballon. eBay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's different on here, 3 on 3. 
This one's set in 2011, pretty much. 2011, 2012. So, so we might be going on to the slow line again. Well, it seems like it. Oh, nice, no, quicker. Hello, Pep, I'm all good. How are you? Yeah, so I think what's going on, we're going to go on to the slow line. I maybe we went for that one there. Now we wait. Or that one over there. Where, where's that one? That's on the... We won't, no, we won't be went for that one. It sure is, Pet. Sure is. Yeah, I might wait for that one, maybe to go go along first. So we're being held here. I think someone has a ram. I, th I think so. And that's probably what we're waiting for, that one there. That was a very quick stop. <laughs> I was already off. Awesome, uh, Jake. Well, should be able to go now. Well, yeah, there we go. That's all went for the other one, which we're not. I wanted to get it moving from the outside, but now it's not. Hold on. Why are you in reverse? Uh, right, let's watch that go in from the outside view. And we're off. Some freelance work tonight, awesome. Nice ramp. And we're off. Baggage car. Quite cool, isn't it? Off we go. Going across. Yeah, it's a lovely train, though. Very nice. With the 73 at the back. And speed it up a little. Not too much, though. Look at all of that, that is brilliant. Right, let's get back in to the front. Awesome ramp. And there was that Thameslink livery, which worked fine yesterday, but when I loaded it up today, the front doors of the train were all bugged and they were just all white, even though it was supposed to be yellow. So I don't know what happened there with that one. That was a brilliant livery, though. I think, mate, I think the Creators Club might actually affect the liveries, because there was another one, the... Um, You'll see it in, probably not, well, I think tomorrow's video. Um, and on the screenshots it looks fine, but when you play it, the whole of the door's all funny. Same with the BR Blue one, which we um, used today. So I think there might be an issue where, when you download stuff on the Credit Club liveries, especially where sometimes it can somehow bug out and do things to the livery. Oh, right, it was only a week ago. Oh. Let's back that up a tad. Yeah, I think we'll probably probably do some flight sims tonight. I think I think we might even fly into Innsbruck again. Uh, yeah, last night's flight was sort of ruined the way the uh, up the, the computer decided to update itself whilst I was playing, so it shut itself down, which then sort of just bro broke that realism. Um, so yeah, it was sort of quite a rough landing as well, so I was like, oh, screw this, let's just get it down and go off. Um, so yeah, I sort of want to do that again. Well, not the same flight, but... Awesome, uh, awesome Jake, between Reading and Slough, calling it Twyford, Maidenhead, 
All the AI trains are based in real life services. Ah. I don't really know, quicker. I'm not really in the trucking mood at the moment, so not too sure. Oh yes, again. I'm in the flying mood at the moment. And the farming mood. But I think we did the farm yesterday, I think. Well, it's quite slow through these platforms. It's 20 miles an hour. That's the title. Put that down. There we go. Right, going through Clapham Junction. I am so going to be bored tonight. Why is that, Les Jet? You're going to Slough Station tomorrow, lovely. Um, things I've heard about Slough are, are never brilliant, so. <laughs> what everyone said in the comments when I said, oh, this looks like a nice station, everyone's like, nah, Slough's not a. Not a pleasant place. Well, that's just what I've been told, so. <laughs> By many people. There's 377. Look at that, brilliant. When old meets new. See, Ryan, uh, it's prim point. Awesome, uh, Southern. And what I do, I make the scenario, then I unsubscribe from the livery. Um, as, yeah, you have the thing where if you subscribe to a livery, it downloads the livery, which is all well and good. But then you might see it on in service mode, uh, which then sort of breaks that realism, so... I'll probably sort of subscribe to scenarios, then unsubscribe from them once I'm done with using the um so there's a four fifty. We might be in the tad over there, but that's all good. It is actually, yes, it's a slam door. And diesel as well. Oh, we go and see the shard there in the clouds by the looks of things. That's uh, sad, so fair enough, uh, Southern. Well, the 66 one, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine seeing that. Yeah, GBRF, all that sort of stuff, you see that. But seeing like a first Capital Connect one on a 2020 timetable BML, no. <laughs> so I usually unsubscribe from them once I have done the scenario until I need them again. Enough orange. There's another southwest service at Queenstown Road. As we go over the top there, Battersea Power Station. You finally got the F1 car. Now I'm off for a fighter jet. But I mean, that's quite a quite a, a difference. You got the F1 car. Now you're off for a fighter jet. Oh, was that on GTA? Three seven seven dash two. So that should have a pantograph on it, which doesn't look. It does have a pantograph. Got a three seven five there, in the old southeastern livery. Weekend diversion. Nice little uh, add thing they've added there. You can hear all the dogs barking because you've got the Battersea um, dogs home around here. That's yeah, been quite a good scenario, this one. Rather enjoyed this. Oh, I see Fortnite Champions on sale. Now we're coming to a stop again. Well, I don't want to stop there, but okay, we can. Just roll forward a tad. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah, okay. I'll see how it is. Uh, no, bloody AWS. 
It's annoying because it doesn't go off when you're on the outside view. You hold the right stick and hold the, then it didn't work. Uh, plug in the keyboard, Mason, if not, and do Control F10. And you, you need to be signed into Dovetail Live as well. Oh, Seafront. Um, French Doge. I, I need to get used to it. I'm so used to calling you Russian Doge. But no, we don't want to be mentioning that thing. There's a 377. I'm guessing that one's going to come across, so i got to wait for that. Come on, across you go. Is that a dash two or dash one? Oh no, it's not. So what are we waiting for? Oh, oh I think we're going across. It's a dash two. <laughs> Blimmin' it, Ryan. Well, that's that's slough, I guess. I've only ever heard. Uh, what's a good thing about slough? I've never. No, no one's ever mentioned a good thing about slough. I'm sure, there's something good about slough, right? <laughs> Yeah, that was 73, look at that, I mean, it's a beautiful locomotive. Yes, uh, Quicko. That place. There's the shard. Going over the River Thames. Which seems to turn into a field just over there. Lovely. Cool, so this will be our... No, we're not cleared into Victoria. There's one more signal beforehand, so... So we are waiting for another train. Yeah, it's almost over. I'll probably get to Victoria and that will be it. Oh my god, I've done it again. It's quite annoying because the um, AWS on train sim doesn't actually sound when you're on the outside, on the older trains. So, uh yeah you can't hear it if it goes off getting these nice external shots oh, you've got a train behind us as well <laughs> let's see yeah that's a good seven right cool uh, get the Heathrox 387 livery it's cool, could do Any other streams? Yeah, there'll probably be one after this, either on Flight Sim or TSW. One of the two. Well, they're more leaning towards Flight Sim as we've already done TSW today. Just now, I guess just now. Right, we're still not cleared in. Something's in the way of us. Oh, I see, um, fr uh, French dog. You try downloading a reskin for a scenario, I try subscribing on an Xbox, it doesn't work, do you know why that is? And make sure you've logged out of Dovetail Live and logged back in, and make sure if it's not downloading, come out of it, and go back in to the Creators Club. See you quick, coat. Signal head's currently not working, contact the signalman and ask for authorization to pass. I'm a good archer, how are you? We can do that, so that's tab. Yeah, tab. <laughs> it's not doing anything. We'll go a bit closer to it maybe, maybe that's why. It's not doing anything. Tab's not doing anything. Did we do this one before and we had to go through the red light? I can't remember. I think that might have been the case last time. We'll wait just in case there is another train going in or out. And then we'll try and do tab. But we'll, we'll wait. <laughs> I am a uh, French toad. Just found an issue with my scenario, going to fix it, should be up later this evening, awesome Jake. I might even make a separate room in the Discord server, just called Scenario or something like that. TSW, or just Creators Club in the Discord server, so you've got any 
scenario you want anyone to play you can just pop try this one out it does that it's nice it's fancy so I might do that separate sort of area for that awesome archer yeah do you want that a, a new discord channel um that's cool don't I create this club and you can sort of just share what you've done and in there We'll wait just in case we are waiting for another train. Uh, press tab again, nothing. So we might be waiting for something. If anything, we might be waiting for that one there. That one looks like it's been ahead of us. So not too sure. Have we got anything else coming in from behind? No, I don't look like it. We'll wait a few more minutes. If that one doesn't budge, then we're, I suppose, have to try and go through the signal. Uh, that would be cool, yeah. It does roam, yeah. Well, there's a service coming in there, so we'll wait for that one. I doubt that would affect us in any way whatsoever. But, you know, we don't want to get a spad. If not, we will just go through and hope that the objective... I'm pressing tab, it's not coming out of anything, so I'm guessing it isn't recognising that signal at the moment. Well, I'm just going to wait just in case it does all of a sudden change. As we wait outside of Victoria. Man, I doubt we are waiting for platform 9. We're, we're going platform 14, so that won't affect us in any way. So that's there. I think we're going to have to go through it and hope it doesn't spad us. I mean, it did say the signal isn't working, so... So it, it might... We might get a spad tip, but there's not really a lot we can do about that. Um, so yeah, we might get a spad, but yeah, not a lot we can do. Yeah, so I don't get that. It said we could go through, it said we could contact the signaller, although it didn't let us contact the signaller. So, uh, yeah, not not too sure there. Well, that's that. Um, this is our train in World 2. A little bit annoying as we were at the end of that, but yeah, for some reason, uh, it doesn't let you... Well, they seem to finish it, but yeah, didn't seem to, didn't seem to like it. Well, that is uh, probably going to be everyone uh, for today's train simulator live stream. I'll be back later with either uh, Train Sim World or Flight Sim. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. But apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.